with the cognitive psychology. Cognitive psychologists and researchers are interested in how people process information. They look into how we input information, then how we process that information, and finally how we retrieve and use it. Some cognitive psychologists and researchers believe that the brain works like a computer following the procedure of input process or the storage output. So areas of interest include memory and forgetting, perception, language, and attention. So with this, the case studies that are listed in the Cambridge International Examinations are Andrea the Dulling, the Baron Cohen et al, the eye test, and Lenny et al, false memory. Oh no. What? Oh no. False memory once again. <laughs> well, in this case, we're going to look in the deeper in detail of these three case studies associated with the cognitive psychology. Oh. It is not that bad. I'll, I'll make it really simple. So the two main assumptions that you are expected to know, one, behavior and emotions can be explained in terms of the role of cognitive processes such as attention, language, thinking, and memory. Two, similarities and differences between people can be understood in terms of individual patterns of cognition. 